What's good? You're watching Gion Talk Sports, and today I wanted to bring up the Colin Kaepernick controversy that does not seem to want to go away. Listen, folks, he doesn't have a job. That sucks. Does that make NFL owners racist? Maybe. Does he not have a job because of him protesting last season? Quite possibly. I'm going to even say yes. Now, you got to ask yourself, does he not have a job because of the controversy and the things that come along with him protesting? Or does he not have a job because along with that controversy, his play is just not worth having him on your team? Listen, this is the same guy who last season, I want to say every single Donald Trump supporter out there, vowed that they would not watch the NFL until he didn't have a job anymore. And the ratings supposedly went down. But we seem to forget that our current president, Donald Trump, was in the middle of his campaign, that every single one of his debates and speeches happened to be on Sundays when NFL was on, and that maybe people were more interested in who our next president was going to be after Barack Obama than they were watching people throw the pigskin around. I don't know. I might be wrong. This season, the ratings are down again. However, we seem to forget that there was a hurricane in Florida called Irma, where most of the people in Florida didn't have access to TV and couldn't watch football. Not to mention that the rest of the country was watching the Weather Channel to make sure that their loved ones were okay in Florida. I think the ratings were three times as many people watched the Weather Channels as they normally do on Sunday afternoons because of the hurricane. But Colin Kaepernick is once again affecting the ratings. And to be honest with you, you know, I don't have a problem with people protesting the NFL. That's your right. You can do whatever you want. What I do have an issue with is calling people self-hating minorities because they don't support it, because they keep watching football, calling white people racist because they're watching football and not supporting Colin Kaepernick. I mean, just calling people who don't have an opinion on it at all, whatever you want, shaming them for not supporting Colin Kaepernick. Let's look at the facts on Colin Kaepernick. He was drafted in 2011. Didn't play until halfway through 2012 when Alex Smith had a concussion. Took the league by storm with his legs and his arm. Led the 49ers to a Super Bowl, which they then lost. The first time in franchise history the San Francisco 49ers lose a Super Bowl. The following year, has an okay season, goes back to the championship game, loses the game on the very last play to the Seattle Seahawks. The following year, Jim Harbaugh is basically fired uh, as a lame duck coach for the, uh, until the last game of the season. Goes 8-8. Eight and eight. Colin Kaepernick's play goes down. The following year, in 2015, the 49ers go 5-11. and 11. Kaepernick's play and his stats go down again. Until we culminate in 2016, the year of the kneeling controversy. Colin Kaepernick starts off the season on the bench takes over the starting job in game four, I believe. He took over for Blaine Gabbert in the second half of that game and goes 1-10 and ten as a 49ers starter. Yet we wonder why he doesn't have a job. A lot of people out there want to tell me that while well, his touchdown to interception ratio was only 16-4, to four, completely forgetting about the 1-10 and ten record, completely forgetting that the 49ers were blown out of most of their games last season and that he collected most of his stats in garbage time. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. In my opinion, the reason why Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job anymore is because he's not good enough to deal with the protests on either side of the coin. If I'm an owner, do I hire a guy who's a backup quarterback at best at this stage of his career? Mind you, he's 30 years old. And past a certain age, you stop progressing as a quarterback. This is a skill that, unlike every other position in football, quarterbacks are usually born and bred to play the position. A lot of these guys come from upper-class families and have been taking lessons since they were six or seven years old to learn how to play quarterback. You can look at Tom Brady, grew up in San Mateo in a wealthy community. Peyton Manning, whose dad's an NFL Hall of Famer, I mean, go on down the line. The majority of quarterbacks have been bred to be quarterbacks. And every so often, you get an athlete who's really good, and they have a nominal success for a few years. But the same thing ends up happening. Within four or five years, the league catches up to them, and they're not as effective as they used to be. Prime example right now is Cam Newton. Cam Newton 
two years ago was at the top of his game. MVP of the NFL took the, the Panthers to the Super Bowl. Last season was a terrible season for him. This year, he's not looking any better. I don't think he's going to be in the league as a starter in two more years. Michael Vick had to take an... Uh, obviously, he went to prison for three years. He took the league by storm when he got here with his legs and his cannon arm. A few years in the league, the league caught up to him. No longer in the league. Robert Griffin got hurt. Hasn't been the same since. Can't use his legs. Can't play quarterback. It's that simple, folks. If you never learned how to play the quarterback position in the first place, you're not going to learn on the job in the NFL, the highest of the high when it comes to football. You can't learn this in college. You might be able to learn it in high school. I'm not sure when Aaron Rodgers became a quarterback and, got, and, and learned. And even Aaron Rodgers is an anomaly. If you, if you ask scouts before the NFL draft where Alex Smith was taken as the first pick, a lot of scouts didn't like his throwing motion and didn't think he'd last in the league. That's the exception to the rule. Russell Wilson is 5'10". You're not going to see a lot of 5'10 quarterbacks getting drafted because of Russell Wilson. Exception to the rule. In fact, Russell Wilson, with his terrible offensive line right now, his play is going down. He's another guy. He has to move around in the pocket because he's too short to look over the line. And that's how he makes plays. But even then, his footwork, because he played second base and shortstop in college and is actually a professional baseball player in the offseason, is why he's successful in the league. Colin Kaepernick has none of these things. Colin Kaepernick at this point is maybe the 25th to the 30th best quarterback in the league right now. Maybe. This is arguable. You could probably put him ahead of, of, of maybe four or five starters. But let me ask you something. Why would I want to bring in some dude who's the 30th best quarterback in the league along with the media shitstorm that's going to accompany him to play quarterback for my terrible team? Is he going to equal more than one win? More than two wins? Maybe I win two extra games. But why am I going to deal with all the crap? Why am I going to get my fans pissed off at me, the fans who are super patriotic? Why am I going to make them pissed off again by signing him just to uh, assuage the feelings of people who are probably not even football fans protesting right now? If you watch the game, you can see why Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job anymore. Because if I'm a general manager, if I'm an owner, I'm not going to sign a guy who's okay and have to deal with all the crap that comes along with signing him just to make a few people happy on the outskirts. Not the real fans. We just want to watch football. Most of us work Monday through Friday, have a terrible boss, hate our job. And the only thing we look forward to is watching football on Sunday, drinking a beer, eating garbage with my feet kicked up on the couch or maybe at the sports bar. I don't need people to tell me I'm a bad person because I'm watching people play football at all. But I guess it's okay to watch college football. There are 10,400 Division I college football players right now not getting a single cent to put millions into their university's pocket. And you're okay with that. And that's not to mention Division II, Division I, AA, so on and so forth programs. Division I, there's over 10,000 Division I football players not gaining a cent. They get free tuition, okay. They get free room and board, that's fine. They're not getting paid to play the game. But you seem to be okay with that. You're not protesting college football games. But one guy takes a knee and doesn't get a job because he's not very good and all hell's broken loose. I don't know, even know what, uh, what else to say about this. The bottom line is, if you think Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job because NFL owners are racist and by proxy NFL viewers are racist, then you're just as bad as the people on the opposite side of the political spectrum that you don't agree with. That's all I got for today, guys. Take care.